we'll start the first exercise and the first exercise is i cannot say exercise uh, first we'll learn how to start a new project with the existing template more about the template we'll discuss we have a topic but the first step how to start a project with the template okay so i'm going to jump to page number 30 to start the first exercise and uh, be about that you'll find all uh, the theory what i already explained so i'm going to jump to this page number 30 here you see getting started with the mep project. now you see okay. in the notes you'll find all the steps in order and apart from this i highlight the important points so that when you practice after the class the work will be easy for you. so i'll show you how to use this at present just i'm showing how to use the note just focus here i'm going to zoom now on a screen for example you see the first step is what click on this r and you know this now or else please make a note of this never get this r icon means you need to consider the file menu okay file menu let you see whenever in the notes if you get this icon it means in the new version it is the file of file menu or sorry file type okay. or else we have one more already an option for example i'm going to close this when you close the project you'll get the default view. so if you want to get the new project you can click directly from here also okay or else if you want to access the file or the different tabs simply click on this arrow there are multiple options so you'll get this option you can click on this okay so you can use any of the option so if you want to open or create a new project you can access uh, from the default view or else click on the arrow and you can access from here so for example i'm going to access from this file menu so click on this file and new so you see in the notes the new is highlighted at, at this level just i'm showing how to follow the notes okay. because you see revit is a very big software it is difficult to memorize everything so this notes will help you after class for practice this notes will help you okay and i make this notes further simple with this highlights and it is it is it is in an organized way along with the project files and how to use the project file that also will discuss when we use when we start the project simply at this level learn how to use the notes simply click on and the next highlight is what project and when you click on the new wait for two seconds so that you'll get this and click on the project after this project in the notes the highlighted is what template okay you see initially at the time of practice you can use this highlight and in the class also you need to make a hard copy and uh, verify these highlights and in the print if it is visible okay if not you need to use a highlighter to highlight this and in the class if you verify all these highlights the work will be easy for you to practice after the class okay, okay so the notes will help you like like your assist uh, assistant okay here in the notes the next highlight option is template so here you can find the template a template file and here i'm going to click browse you see the next item sorry browse here and after the browse next template so i'm going to click on the browse and here template and which template imperial you see imperial template so here you can find imperial imperial refers to english imperial if you want to use metric i don't know uh means you see different consultant have their own standards so some may use english or some may use metric so here i'm going to focus on the concept because it is difficult to uh, use both the system in one project anyhow the concept is going to be same the units is going to be different so with this training program i'm going to continue with the english system if your consultant is dealing with the metric system in that case what you can do here in the look in by default is the english imperial i can use the system default if you want to use english system but for example if you want to use metric system in that case what you do simply click on this look in and click this template this is the default path you see c drive program data program data is a hidden file you directly if you go to the c drive you cannot find this uh, program data you need to act you need to clear this uh, activate this hidden files to, to click or you need to set uh, to show the hidden files then only it will be visible so program data order as revit 2022 template this is a path so click on the template and you can access the metric also so here you see here i'm going to click this english again in the english folder so there is a chance of confusion so don't confuse in 2022 english system means you can go for english imperial metric system templates you'll find in the english folder in the previous version it was a separate folder called metric but i don't know why they changed to change the name to english so don't get confused 
English Imperial, you can find this metric. You can find from this folder, double click this and you can find it. system default metric. I can use this and you'll find some other location template also. If you want to use metric, you can access from here. But at this level, I, I'm interested to use English Imperial, for example, uh, as per the notes to avoid confusion. Initially follow as it is, practice as it is, same to same, avoid confusion. Initially, if you do experiment, you'll get the confusion. Okay. At least uh, for this B, uh, for the interesting class, do any experiment, practice as it is. After getting the concept, then you are allowed to uh, do experiment with your own as per your own requirement. But the starting only, if you do experiment, you'll get the confusion. Because in Revit, you must learn the order first. Because uh, following the order is very very important in Revit. Because in Revit, we are dealing with the design, and for design, you know the importance of sequence. Okay, English Imperial here, and I'm selecting System Default. Here you can follow the same in the notes. You see system default but rt you'll not get the rt here but you can verify rt here and you know what is rt is a template uh -huh. file no? so template i'm selecting is. yes what we learned in the previous so system default and click open you can find on the screen mm -hmm. you can find the open after that create new what can you find from the screen create new what project or project template template you see create new what select Project. select project at this level project okay. and click ok so what we learn in this part simply we learn how to follow the notes how to follow these highlights at the same time we also learn how to start a new project with the existing template okay and because of the existing template you see uh, because of this uh, default template, can you able to see this uh, symbols online on screen these are all elevation cameras and how i got this elevation camera you see you can verify here for example when i take the cursor close to this at the bottom left you can read mm, so elevation three. elevation three this also elevation elevation four these are all elevation cameras and from where i got this because i use a template file in the default template file you will find this elevation cameras okay. and the template file belongs to english system so when you type units by default you'll get the english system you see the square feet degree fahrenheit mm. uh, here cube pounds per cubic feet this all belongs to english system no? so i got this english system uh, because i use a system default template and i got this elevation camera also because this also from the default uh, default file this template file apart from this in the project browser you see you can find electrical you can find power you can find mechanical you can find plumbing etc and how i got this services because i use system default template file. so remember if you are using system default template file the system default template file will offer the information or the basic settings for this electrical mechanical and plumbing mechanical means including firefighting here when i expand this you see at present the firefighting is not in the list but you can create so you'll get this information or this uh, ready-made options in the project browser and this uh, what elevation camera apart from this when i open any elevation view for example you can access elevation view from the project browser or is the same elevation if you want to access you can double click on this triangle you see you select the square it is used to move the elevation but if you want to open the elevation simply double click on this triangle Triangle. you can access from here you see when i double click this elevation view or else you can access from here also the required elevation for example i'm going to open this not make elevation now when i open not make elevation can you able to see some levels you have not created this level now so from where we got this levels because of template file this basic settings like uh, units like uh, project browser settings like levels etc i got because i use a template file uh, that is a system default template file in the project for example again i'm going to create a new project say new this time i'm not using any templates i'm selecting none and create new project so the software will ask which system if you want you want to use say imperial so when i select imperial what will happen you see when i type units you can find the english system but you see there is no elevation camera in the project browser also there are no options for mechanical plumbing electrical and you see when I expand this there is no elevation views also because there is no elevation cameras all this you need to set so it's a waste of time so generally when we start we'll start at least with the default template file and system default template means you'll get mechanical electrical and plumbing but for example if you want to start only with electrical or only with the plumbing or only with the mechanical for that also we have dedicated or separate templates how i'll show you so i'm going to click on the file the new project this time click browse now in this list for example i'm selecting electrical diff and click ok and again create new project so i'm using the template file in the project which template electrical template 
and you see you'll find only electrical options there is no mechanical options here but you'll get the lifting camera you'll find the elevation levels etc but in the project browser you'll not get the option for plumbing and mechanical if you want to deal with the only electrical you can start with electrical template only mechanical you can start with the mechanical only plumbing you can start with the plumbing or if you want to start with all then system default these are the default option from order okay clear point so remember what i explained just now the elevation cameras this elevation this levels level one level two default zero feet ten feet and the settings the units etc all uh, i'm getting from the template file when i start the project this information is is important we'll again we'll revise we'll we'll, we'll learn this so now back to the notes you see the notes the same you need to verify the elevation and close so this is just uh, we learn about the template file okay got the idea online so the important point is how to use the system default template file in Eng for english uh, system or for metric system this one is important as per your project requirement you can choose okay and the second point is if you use system default you can get the option for mechanical plumbing and electrical or else specifically if you want only electrical separate uh, only electrical template also you can insert in the project now for example in the existing template also if i want to add some more length for example 10 feet now suppose i'm going to change this to say 12 feet i'm going to add some more levels but you see this template i i open or use in the project now so after editing if i save it will save in the project file not in the template file but if you want to create your own template file with the default in that case at the time of starting the project you must select create template option. i'll show you the next option so quickly i'll give you the preview how to create a new template then the detailed procedure you'll find from the notes so i request you to please uh, note down this point this is not in the notes you see if in the notes we'll start from point number 12 i'll show you how to create the template file with all the settings but the quick preview before starting this exercise and which is not in the notes so if you want you can make a note of this points quickly just short the just in short later you can uh, write short means for example click on the file so you need to write file and then then arrow the new like this you can create your uh, some short short notes so here i'm going to close all these files first just a preview how to create your own template so the first step is what you can write click on the new and the second option click browse and system default you see using the system default i'm going to create my own template suppose if i not use any template file i need to complete or add all the settings which is in the default uh, template file so waste of time now so i'll use the default template and in that i'll add my own required setting as per my consultant requirement or location requirement i'll create my own template file but this is just a preview the system default then click open now you see create new what project template not because we are interested to create a new template file now. so when you select this project template so you can write the next option create new project template so project template then click ok and you see initially when you select this project template you can able to add the required settings and after adding when you save the software will allow you to save in dot rte format means template format RTE. Uh, rte format for example if you select project and if if after that if you add all the settings when you save it will save as rvt file and rvt means project file and one project file cannot be added in another project file but template file can be used for any project can be used to insert in the project to get the same settings okay so initially if you are interested to create a template file you must select this option project template and click ok so for example you see i need all these settings uh, but in the units for example in the units for ducting or uh, you see i'm selecting this hv hvac uh, most commonly we'll use the cfm for flow rate now it can be liter per second depend as per a consultant but for duct size for example i'm interested to use mm not in inches example even inches also we can use so for example i'm selecting mm and click ok this is first requirement as per my template the second you see here i'm going to open any elevation say north electrical but default you'll get these two levels and from where we are getting this you know hmm. you'll get from the template file now but now i'm interested to add one more level suppose i'm dealing i'm dealing with say three more levels i'm interested to add some more levels so that i can save in the template so whenever i use the template by default i'll get the levels no need to create again and, again. and later we'll discuss the importance of this level in detail and because you see at the time of creating level we have option to create the views like a floor plan ceiling plan etc which is very important we'll discuss in detail we have a separate topic at this level this is just a preview to create your own template 
then we'll start the exercise so how to create the new level you can make a note click on architectural tab from the datum panel click level or the command is ll we'll discuss this option later we have a separate topic so at this level i'm going to skip i'm just selecting this uh, floor and ceiling why we'll discuss don't worry at this level just i'm showing a preview now you see offset so already we have 10 feet now 10 plus 10 here say 20 feet Remember something now once again level and you can you define like this also on the screen say 20 feet or as you can enter here in the 20 feet i'm going to create a new level now you see the distance i can even set also after this roughly you can create then double click here so i'm entering 20 feet it will set similarly i'm interested to create some more levels so you can create as per the requirement later if you want you can select this in the properties here clicking this a type i'm changing the color to say magenta just for reference i'm creating i'm customizing my required template and i can able to save this this is just a preview the detail we have now when you save you see i'm going to click save as or you can click save at this level it's both the same because we have not saved this file now so when you click this save as you can notice only the template option is active this project family this is not active why because initially we select project template now so we already informed the software we are creating a template file so the software will allow to save in the template format only okay so click this template and you can notice here rt you see you'll not find rvt rt only say name of the template say smt hyphen default and save in the same folder now later if you want the same settings for your project you see this file save as a template file not project file now i'm going to close it now i'm interested to start a new project with the with the template what i create just now so simply click on new you know the procedure go for browse this time i'm going to select what smt default okay and mm -hmm. click open then create new what project because now we're interested to create a project okay. for example if you want want to update some more settings in the template click okay. again template and you can add uh, some more setting i can you can save or you can mm -hmm. uh, create in uh, with a new but at this level i'm i want to use this template in the project so click on the project and click ok now you can notice the settings what you did will be available in the project the magenta color and the three levels by default yeah. with the system default only two yeah. level now but here i'm getting three levels and the color also different so i think you got the idea the concept 